putting North Dakota first. KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening. I'm Jamar Lowe Phillips. Thank you for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, continuing coverage out of South Fargo, one officer is dead and two others are critically injured after a shooting. The incident involved a shooter, three police officers and a bystander. Take a look at this video here. Paramedics were on scene as were North Dakota BCI agents Friday, collecting evidence that included dozens of shell casings around two cars that you just saw there on camera near the area of Big Top Bingo. In a news conference today, the police chief in Fargo said the gunman who killed one officer and critically injured two others opened fire as the officers were responding to a crash. Fargo Police Chief David Zobolski said Officer Jake Walleen, a 23 year old military veteran, was shot and killed. Two others identified as Andrew Dodas and Tyler House were injured. The chief noted that a fourth officer, Zach Robinson, shot and killed the suspect who police identified as 37 year old Mohammed Barakat from Fargo. The chief says Officer Jake Walleen was a member of the Minnesota National Guard before joining his team. Uh was very impressive as he went through the academy and he was doing well on field training as well and it's just a really sad tragedy that he's no longer with us um, and i think we want to play this video just exactly to your question throughout my my entire life i've always wanted to work in some sort of position that had purpose behind my job and police officer is always what kind of came to me. I've tried other careers, but I came right back into law enforcement as a career path I wanted to go through. There is still no word on the shooter's motive for the crime. Of course, you can look for the latest updates on this developing story over at kxnet.com.